All right, welcome back, everybody. It's Wellness Wednesday, and during this Valentine's week, we wanted to take a look at the science behind love. Yeah, and get some ideas of things that you can do to enhance your connection to someone. Dr. Shamani Jan is uh, from the Consciousness and Healing Initiative, and she's here to tell us and fill us in on how we can do just that. Welcome back. Well, thank you. It's so nice to here. have you. Thank you. And you're wearing your red for Valentine's yeah, Day, right? Yeah, February Heart Month, Valentine's Day tomorrow. Yeah. It's the month of love. <laughs> yeah, the month of love. <laughs> and the month of really connecting, which I think that a lot of us have a really hard time doing, especially with how crazy and busy our schedules are. And then you got social media, and you're like trying to make connections there, but yeah. that's not real. You know, it's mm -hmm. interesting because here's the truth of the matter. We have a loneliness epidemic in our country. Mm -hmm. It's estimated that 42 million Americans suffer from loneliness and social isolation. That's about a third of our adult population, older adult wow, population. that's a lot of people. It's yeah. significant because here's what the data show us, that social isolation and loneliness actually increase our risk of heart disease and stroke by 30%. That's mm -hmm. about as much as we'd expect from obesity. So it's a yeah. huge issue, and it just points to how powerful social connection can be on the well, flip side. And it's ironic, too, because you talk about social media. Everybody's plugged into Twitter and Facebook, all these things where you would think people mm -hmm. would have connections, but yeah. instead you do end up kind of being by yourself, right? Yeah, because you're not there right. with somebody. Is that right? That's right. I mean, that's part of it, right? It's uh, how we find our social connection. So social media can be you know, used in lots of ways, but a lot of times it's more about you know, kind of sharing what we're up to rather mm -hmm. than really listening. It can be used as a good tool, but mm -hmm. often, you know, how many times have you been with someone where they're on their phone looking at Facebook and <laughs> yeah. not really, you right. know, guilty, I'm guilty too, <laughs> like we all right. do it, right? You go to the restaurants, you go to the airports, you see all these families, and each one is on, you know, is on some device mm -hmm. rather than, you know, connecting with each other. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that? And also, I know that you it's very important not only to connect with others but really to connect with ourselves. That's absolutely true. You know there are three simple things that we can do to foster connection with just about anybody and this is someone that you know we may love and feel really great around all the time or someone that we might have difficulty with. They're really the same kinds of things that we can do and the first step is just to connect within, right? And it's just as simple as that. I can place my hand on my heart, mm -hmm. take a moment to breathe, and just relax, right? So you're just focusing on the present, basically, right? I'm just focusing yeah. on the present moment. I'm focusing on my breath. I'm putting down my phone because guess what? I got to put down my phone to connect with myself mm -hmm. as well as with yeah. anyone else, right? Yeah. I might think I'm connecting with my, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just literally taking that moment. So if I'm present within myself, mm -hmm. then I can be present for you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So. And that's why I think, um, well, you know, I, I try to practice meditation, you know, um, and sometimes, you know, you have times where it's harder than others. Yeah. And I'm kind of going through that right now. Mm -hmm. But I think that, you know, you, like you said, you, you're, you're at that moment and you stop and you take a moment to just feel, you know, and I think that we're so busy a yeah. lot of times that we don't, we don't, we don't give ourselves that time it's, to do that. It's so true. We have to give ourselves time. We have to nurture ourselves, right? We have to connect within ourselves so mm -hmm. that we can really be there for someone else. Because if our mind is here and there, mm -hmm. it doesn't yeah. really work. And, and tomorrow's Valentine's Day where people yeah. actually are supposed to focus on someone else. You talk mm -hmm. about um, the science behind love and chemistry. How, how do you know if you've yeah. got chemistry with somebody? That's a great question. Well, you can feel it in your body. So again, you know, if you're present with your body, you'll be able to feel feel that right away and you can feel how that person makes you feel mm -hmm. you know and and one thing is that even if you're with someone and you're not really sure if you have a connection with them you know we have all kinds of things going on in our mind that can yeah. kind of get in the way sometimes of yeah. connection it's really great to find common ground and you can do this with anybody whether it's a first date or whether it's just someone on the street or someone who has a completely different ideology mm -hmm. than you do yeah. Right. Find something that you have in common with. Find something that you're both passionate about. And you'd be surprised what that opens up because it lets your guard down. It opens up your heart. It mm -hmm. opens their heart up, too. And you can connect in that way. And the biology of connection is pretty strong. You've yeah. probably heard of the love hormone oxytocin. Uh -huh. Maybe you've heard of that. It's a neurohormone. It's a mm -hmm. neurotransmitter. And a lot of people talk about it in terms of you know, mother-infant bonding, but it's in all social relationships. <laughs> Data even show that connecting with your pets I increases. was just about to say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We did that uh, research yeah. uh, recently about dogs and how your oxytocin uh, levels kind of rise and theirs as well yeah. when, they, yeah. when you look at them. That's great. Um, so social connection mm -hmm. is about everybody and everything, mm -hmm. not just romantic relationships. And, the, and you get health benefits out of all that yeah. when you can connect, right? Absolutely. And especially yeah. get rid of that loneliness, which is a real yeah. killer, obviously. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. Shamini, yeah. thank you so much for yeah. coming in. Thank you. Thank you. It. And we will be back with more Carolina Morning right after this.